Hey guys, so Peach Slices, which is uh, owned by Peach and Lily, recently just came out with some new products, a snail mucin mask. Uh, they came out with a snail rescue blemish busting toner and a moisturizer. So I thought I would give some of these a try for you guys for the first time. They just came today, so I'm super excited. So I am going to put the mask on and then rinse it off in the shower and then I'll talk about if I liked it or not. So what are the directions? Apply to clean, clean skin, relax 15 minutes, rinse off thoroughly with water, follow up with the rest of your routine. So I'm going to cleanse my face real quick, as quick as I possibly can. And I'm gonna use the Claire's Gentle Black Fresh uh, Cleansing Oil, which I love. Can you tell? I love it. So I'm gonna try and be quick washing my face, but it's never that quick. And I'm sure it's not super fun to watch, but Whatever, right? Like I love tubing mascaras, but remove them removing them is kind of a pain because they leave these little tube thingies everywhere. <laughs> I can't say to my sink, but they're everywhere. Okay, so I cleansed my face with that. Now I'm going to apply the mask. So very first time we'll see. The ingredient list looks uh, simple yet uh, very sensitive skin friendly from what I can tell. Oh, it's got a really nice looking jelly texture to it. Let me show you guys. Looks like jello. So there we go. No real noticeable scent. Hmm. Maybe if anything, just a very light, like almost like a fruity scent. It does have strawberry in here, so maybe that's where that scent comes from. Because it doesn't look like there's any added fragrance, and it doesn't look like they have any denatured alcohol in here, and it does look like they pack in the snail mucin. It's so gelatiny. Kind of tricky to apply. There we go. I'm making a mess, but messes, I guess, are made to be broken, cleaned up. Messes are made to be cleaned. Good thing I don't make a lot of messes, but somehow I'm always cleaning up some mess somewhere. Yeah, almost really no scent, I guess. Okay. So I'm gonna smooth it on a little bit better because it's hard to apply that with that spatula. But it's really easy to get a really thick layer. I think I've got a really thick, 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 thick layer, okay. Feels really nice on, I really like that gelatin type texture so let me just do another scan i don't know you know what there's been so many fun like the tony moly brand came out with a mask so i'll have to use that one but this one feels really nice on my skin so snail secretion filtrate is the first ingredient it says it's 95 percent of the product so it's interesting they must have used an interesting uh mix of thickeners and it looks like they used a couple thickeners that kind of give it that jelly texture. Uh, then what else do we have? Centella Asiatica, which is great. Skin soothing ingredient, licorice root extract, hyaluronic acid, which is in everything. Then we've got water, strawberry fruit extract, and then beta alba juice, which is a astringent and an antioxidant, uh, propandolol, and then butylene glycol and phenoxethanol for preservatives. So not a super long ingredient list. And I really was impressed with the prices for these. I think this was like 20 bucks, so it wasn't ridiculously expensive. So I'm gonna let it sit for about 15 minutes. I'm gonna hop in the shower, rinse it off, wash my hair, come out. I'll tell you what I thought of the mask. And then you know what? I'll give the uh, toner and the moisturizer a quick whirl. So anyway, I haven't tried much from the Peach Slices brand because it seems to be like the arm of Peach and Lily that is more geared towards those people that don't mind fragrance and things but uh most of these 
the, these new ones don't seem to have fragrance in them. So I guess we'll see. Well, I think they have some peel off masks too. And I'm not a huge fan of peel off masks. It just feels like you're peeling off your face. So I'll oh, hang on one second. I think Lincoln wants to come in. There he is. Hang on. How do I turn the face track off so you can see Lincoln? Can you even see him? He wants water. Okay. Okay, I'll be back in 15 minutes. So I just got out of the shower and I rinsed off the, uh, I keep wanting to say peach and lily, the peace slices mask. My skin feels pretty nice. Um, a little bit tight, but I typically immediately when we get out of the shower, immediately go to an essence. But since I was doing this, I decided to let it just air dry. So now I'm going to apply the peach slices blemish busting toner. Let's see. Okay. So, yeah, my skin feels nice, soft. Uh, you know, it it feels nice, but not not as nice as the morning when you wake up after you put a ton of snail cream on your face. That's a nice way to wake up. Your face feels so soft and smooth and hydrated. But I do like the uh, blemish busting toner. It seems light, no scent, no alcohol. So they've got that going. Then I thought I'd try the Snail Rescue All-in-One Moisturizer. I think they came out with a cleanser, too. I'm going to have to pick that up because, obviously, I missed the memo. I really love my Peach and Lily um, Calming Pore Cleanser. What is it? Peach and Lily Power Calm Cleanser. I really like that one. So it's moisturizer. No scent again. Da -da -da. But feels very nice and light. That little bit was enough to cover my entire face, so that's good. So let me check on the ingredients of this guy and just see if we have anything exciting here or not. Snail secretion, uh, betaine, centella asiatica again, hydrolyzed hyaluronic, uh, sodium hyaluronic, hyaluronic acid. We've got that betula alba juice again, strawberry. And then, uh, yeah, not super exciting, but still a decent uh, moisturizer that is relatively affordable. Uh, it's cheaper than a lot of Olay moisturizers, more expensive than other ones, but, you know, it's right in there. So, and Elf always has good sales, so it's always worth keeping your eye on. So, anyway, I'm pretty happy with this. Yeah, my skin feels nice and light, and I feel like I'm, I'm ready to go to bed now. I don't think I'm going to do anything else. I'm tired. <laughs> so anyway, those are my first impressions of the new Peach Slices products. I'm interested in hearing from you guys if you've had a chance to try anything from the brand or Peach and Lily and what you like and what you don't. Or if you have a favorite current mask, what is it and what do you like about it? So I uh, love hearing from you guys and stay tuned for more tomorrow. Thank you so much.